Good evening. I want to apologize for the, something that I said on my last video. I told you about this new PM of Austria, Sebastian Kurz, on how he was tough on uh, Soros, right? This turned out to be a fake story. I was sort of hoping that it was true, right? Yeah. It wasn't. I mean, that's what he should be. And maybe he will. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. I should have known. It couldn't be true. So anyway, there it is. Uh, right now I'm waiting for the results on the Czech Republic election. I'll have it in a few hours. Very exciting. Uh, maybe I'll talk about this tomorrow. I just want to give you some quotes today. Uh, these are the quotes of the week here in Sweden. Yeah, the first one is uh, from uh, Public Service TV. They say this, uh, more and more people are exposed to sexual crimes. The number of people who say they have been exposed to sexual crimes have increased dramatically during the last years. The Crime Preventing Council, the Crime Preventing Council, that's a, a government agency that is dealing with statistics on crime and reports, you know. Yeah. So the Crime Preventing Council has yet no answer on what's behind this increase. <laughs> they just couldn't say it, see? Uh, everybody knows what's behind this increase. Everybody. Yes. And the vast majority of the citizens here would tell you if you ask them. We know that it's immigration. Right? So, this is so, so stupid. So that's the first quote. And the next one is from our Swedish PM. You know, the EU lover, Stefan Levien, that's his name. He's also a socialist, feminist, Marxist. First of all, he's, a, he's an EU lover. Yeah. So he said in an interview uh, the other day, he said, Sweden's been naive. Yeah, that's what he said. And this was related to, you know, the situation that we have. Especially with the criminal gangs. Yeah. So, well, Mr. Stefan Levian, it's actually you who is naive, and you still are naive. Yeah. And your pals in the government. Right. So this is, of course, bullshit. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of talk about criminal gangs lately here. They are more and more aggressive. They are more successful, you might say. They are growing. This is a growing problem. Uh, and it's really very close to a disaster. I would say that it is a disaster, what's happening here. Yeah. For instance, we had this bomb. Uh, in Helsingborg, that's a town on the west coast. Uh, they put a bomb by the police house and the, the entrance just blew up. Right? And anybody would say that, of course, this is related to criminal gangs, it's some sort of revenge, right? But media, they are very careful with this. Yeah. And the, the PM, again, the EU lover, was interviewed and he was very upset, right? Very upset. But when he talk when he's talking, you, you have this feeling that he's totally scared. He don't want to go here. He don't want to talk about this. Right? But it's his job and he he wants to sound like he's got it under control. And uh, now in this interview he was like um, very firm. It was all an act. Right? He doesn't know what the hell to do. He doesn't. He can't handle it. No way. They are fucked. Right? And if we don't get a new government, 
Sweden is fucked. Yeah. We need a, we need to improve the courage with our politicians by about six thousand percent. Yeah. Then we're talking. Then something can happen. Yeah. That's it for today. See you tomorrow maybe. Bye.